Are you a football fan? Do you play the English Premier League's fantasy football draft? Do you want to top your league and have the bragging rights? Well, we all know the first step to top your league is to have a great draft. Weeks and even months of R&D can only get you this far. Because come draft day, the things are not in your control. So you need to be able to make the best decision from the available players. On draft day, this tool can provide you quickly with the options that will make your team the team to beat. You can monitor the available players, your draft board, who all you have selected, all in one window. It is really easy and quick to set up. There are two sheets in the tool, the draft sheet and the list sheet. The first step is to get the updated player list. This is really simple. All you need to do is go to the list sheet and click the get latest player list button. Once you click it, it's going to update the data of the latest players from our database. If it is the first time that you are going to press the button, you need to give it authorization. And once you do that, the player list gets updated. Once you've got the player list updated, you can go to the draft sheet. This is where all the magic happens. Let me just zoom out and show you the complete draft sheet. This sheet may look intimidating, but it provides all the information you need. The left side section here shows all the players available in the draft. This section here shows the remaining players. The section here is the draft board. The part here shows the players you have selected. These three tables on the right will only matter if you are concerned with the price, which may be in some draft cases. So let's look at them more closely. A very important point to note is that throughout the tool, only the purple sections of the tool should be updated by the user. Remaining is calculated by the tool. Once you've updated the player list in the list sheet and when you come to the draft sheet, the first thing you need to do is click the button update player list. Note that when you update this player list, it will reset the draft board selections and the players selected by you and your opponents. This is very important if you already made some selections that all those selections will get reset. So let's say yes. All right. So now our player list will get updated and our draft and player selections will be reset. Okay. So this is the starting point. So let's start by building our draft board. Draft board are the players we want to select in our draft. There are totally around 450 players, but we may not be interested in getting all of them. So the first part is to populate our draft board. Our draft board consists of eight columns where two columns are for the goalkeeper, two for the defense, two for midfielders and two for forwards. Let me first put in some data here. All we need to do is to select our players by clicking the checkbox in the draft board column. So the first player is Kane. I'm surely interested in getting him. As soon as we select Kane, our forward list gets updated with Kane. Let me select Salah. Salah is in midfield and so he gets updated in the midfield column. Similarly, I'm interested in Fernandez, Mane, De Bruyne, but I'm not interested in Sterling because of Pep Roulet. And Wadi may not be the best option this season due to his age. So let's say I skip both of them and I pick Son. Uh, Aubameyang, I don't trust him. Rashford is injured for two months. So let me pick Mares, Firmino, and maybe then I start with Bamford, and so on and so forth. So let me just populate the draft board right now. There, I've built my mock draft board. Based on my selections here, my draft board has been populated with all the different goalkeepers, defense, midfielders and forward players. Currently, all of them are sorted by cost. So if I click the checkbox here, now it is going to be sorted by the 2020 points. Depends on how you want to look at the list, you can either sort it by the points or by cost. Remember that when you sort by points, all the players which are new to FPL this season will be zero and will be at the bottom. So you need to keep that in mind. This section here shows all the available players. Here you can sort them by position. So you can see only the goalkeepers or let's say forwards or you can also sort them by respective teams. So let's say I want to see all the Manchester United players available. All I need to do is select Manchester United and all the available players will be shown here. Similar to the draft day, we can also sort them either by cost 
or sort them by the number of points they received last year. You can also set the max value for which the players will be shown. So right now I have kept it as 15, so all the players are shown. In case you want to see, let's say all the players with the maximum value of 8 who are available, all you need to do is select 8 here and now you will see all the players with cost of 8 and below to show up in this screen. Most of the drafts, the price is not an issue, so I will suggest to keep this at 15. Similarly, in the draft board too, we can also select only the players between a specific value. So let's say we want to see all the players only up to 9 million. So once you click the 9 million here and let's say the minimum value needs to be 7 million. You will see only the players within the min and max value. In your draft, if the value is not of a concern, keep them at 0 and 15. Alright, the setup is done and come draft day, this is where this tool is going to shine. So you see the column my team and selected by other players. As the draft progresses, all we need to do is check the box depends on either you've selected or your opponents have selected a player. So let's say you pick number 3. So the first selection which is not by you is going to go by Kane. All you need to do is select Kane here and you see that Kane has become red. And on the draft board, he has gone below as red. Similarly, the second pick let's say picks Salah. So Salah goes down in our midfield list. Third is your pick and you select Bruno Fernandes. Your selections will be green and your opponent selections will be red. Similarly, in the draft board, you will now see that Fernandes has been selected as green and is just above Salah. So all the yellows you see in your draft board are the available players. Also, if you notice the remaining player sheet, the three players, Kane, Salah and Fernandez, have now moved out of this list and you see only the remaining players. Also in this section, now based on your selection, it's going to show that you've already picked one midfielder that is Fernandez from Manchester United. The two charts here which may not be important for most of the leagues is the distribution of remaining players based on price. So at the beginning of the draft, there were two players with 12.5 and now there are zero. Similarly, there were three players, all three midfielders with price 12 and now only two are remaining. This distribution can help you determine if you need to go for some specific price range of players. Alright, so let's go back to this. Since you are pick number three, the next pick is going to be number 10 for a six player draft. So let's say your opponents pick. And when your turn comes, you will be able to see the draft board, your current team selection and also the available players. So let's say that I am interested in getting a forward right now again because I got Fernandez and I see these are the forwards available and let's say if I want to sort them by cost I see that Bamford is available and he seems to be a steal right now just for 8 million so based on this then I select Bamford and as soon as I do the selection Bamford is highlighted in my draft board and it's also available on my selected player list this way, as the round progresses, at your fingertips, you'll have all the information of the best available players and also based on your own draft board. In case you're using this tool for practicing and some mock drafts, you can also reset some selections which you've done. So let's say this was one round and then I need to reset the player selections. Rather than going one by one and unchecking, all you need to do is click the button reset player selections. And it's going to ask you if you are sure to reset your player selections. And if you say no, no harm is done. But let's say you say yes, then all the player selections by you and others will be reset. And your draft board will again be pristine. Similarly, let's say that we want to reset our draft board. All we need to do is click the button reset draft board and say yes. And the draft board will be reset. Let's say that we've selected our players in the draft board, but now we need to update the player list as you may get another updated player list of let's say on uh, 21st July. So once you get the player list and if you go to the draft sheet and click the player list button, note that if you say yes now, all your draft board selections will be reset. So if you say yes, the player list gets updated, but also your selections of both the draft and the teams if they have been selected will be reset. 
We are sure that our tool can help you draft the best team possible. Check the description below to see how you can purchase it. Till next time, ciao.